Hey everybody, Dr. Adam Harcourt here, and today we're gonna to talk about caffeine. And before you turn off the, this video, I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to get rid of it forever, but it's probably not doing you any favors, all right? One of the reasons that I get so much conflicting information about caffeine is the fact that it's in a lot of medications that are meant to get rid of migraine. But let's remember what those medications are for. They are for reducing the pain of migraine once you've already had it. But again, if you look at our other videos, you can remember that migraine actually can start up to two or three days before you ever have any pain. So migraine isn't head pain, it's this whole other neurological disorder that we discuss in other videos. So the medications, again, are just to get rid of the pain once the migraine has already started, it's already occurring. So our whole goal is to reduce the migraine days to begin with, so you don't need to take some of those medications. So yes, in the acute stage, caffeine can be helpful for migraine. However, think of it like any other drug. If you take a medication or a drug or something that replaces what your body should normally be doing, the body won't produce as much of that thing. So uh, for example, with caffeine, it gives you that burst of energy. It may uh, help uh, with blood flow. It may help out uh, with, actually with cerebrospinal fluid production. There's all these things that it does, but if you take it once, that's okay. But now if you're taking it every day with a cup of coffee or two, or in, in my case, I've heard patients having up to eight pots of coffee a day, that can cause quite a problem. And the reason that most people don't end up getting off of it is because the withdrawal from it can sometimes feel worse than before being on caffeine to begin with. So what I like to remind people is getting off of caffeine is like a bell curve. So the first day you get off of it, you're just starting to get up there, right? You might be a little tired, but it usually doesn't flare people up too much. The second, the third, the fourth days, that's where you can have more headaches, you can be really tired, it can be kind of rough. So I have a lot of patients that say, man, I tried to get off of it, but after the second or third day, it was worse than before, so I just went back on. Well, they were almost over that bell curve, but they got off too early, okay? So what I highly recommend if you're gonna to try to get off of caffeine is reduce your intake over a week or so, and if you have a normal Monday through Friday job, have your last cup of coffee or tea or soda or whatever it is on a Thursday. That way, Friday's your first day that's not so terrible. Then you have Saturday and Sunday to just rest and recover, take it easy, take care of yourself. So by Monday, you're already almost over the other side of the bell curve. Because I can tell you right now, if you stop caffeine on a Monday, you're gonna hate your whole week, be mad at me, I'll get angry comments, all that kind of stuff. So try to do it over a weekend so you can recover and start to actually get over the bell curve before you get back to work. So I can tell you, the reason I'm making a video on this is because I've had so many uh, let's say spirited conversations with patients over the years to get them off of caffeine. But I can tell you, it's one of the non-negotiables that I have when I first start with a patient because I've seen it ruin so many migraine treatments. So again, it's not your cure-all, but it's one of those things that you definitely want to make a concerted effort to get off of, even if you're only having a cup a day or a half a cup or even a decaf because decaf does have caffeine in it. So if you have any questions on this or, or you wanna argue about it, I'm happy to do that. Please comment below. We'd love to hear your input. And also tell us how your journey was getting off caffeine and if it was similar to that bell curve. Because again, some people have different experiences. We wanna hear all of it and we look forward uh, to hearing that below.